Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add clothing to your avatar using VRC Fury. This method is by far the most simple way to do it, and it is one that I personally would suggest. Anyways, to get started, of course, you need to actually install VRC Fury. So what we're going to do is we're heading over to vrcfury.com. We're going to head over to download VRC Fury, and then in this tutorial, I'm going to grab the installer, but I would suggest using the Creator Companion one. It makes it so much easier in the future. But for now, I'm going to hit here, install it, and then I'm going to drag this into my project and I'm going to hit import. And then it's going to take around 30 seconds or so to install. So it will first do that and then I'll wait a few more. There we go. Here's the second iteration going through. Now, basically, after you have that installed, you can double check up in this corner if you go to tools and then right there, VRC Fury. So another thing is I'm going to grab gesture manager because we're going to use this for later. But to test it out, we're going to grab our clothing and we're going to drag it in. And then I'm going to quickly change the color here so that it's an actual color. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to select the clothing. We're going to open it up and we're going to first look at the bones and everything. So one current glitch with the Nova Beast avatar is that the bone rigging is off a little bit. So I'm going to quickly import this clothing set and export it with the right settings. So first I'm going to head over to mesh. I'm going to click where it is, go to show in Explorer. Then I'm going to copy this up here with control C. And then I'm going to head over into blender. I'm going to go to file, hit import, hit FBX. And then I'm going to control V, hit enter, grab it from here. And then now in this section here, you'll see that there is import and export armature. So for this, we have to keep it how it is right now. And as you can see, the bones that you're looking at right now are straight. But if you were to import the Nova Beast avatar, you'll see that the bones are actually crooked. So if I go find it, the Nova Beast FX, grab the Nova Beast avatar, and I don't change any settings here, you'll see that the bones are actually sideways. Um, so this is a bug due to an exportation from Maya over to Blender slash Unity. So I'm going to quickly fix that here. So all we're going to have to do is go to File, go to Export, FBX, and then we're going to go down to here. We're going to check off Bake Animation, go to Armature, check that, add Leaf Bones off, and then we're going to go to Y Axis, change it to X. We're going to go to X Axis, change it to Y, and then we're going to Control V, that thing at the top here, find the clothing, and we're just going to export to override it. Now, it looks broken here, but all you have to do is go to the original FBX and drag it out. And then you can delete this one. And then we can quickly rename this uh, back to the normal outfit. And then all we have to go do is go back to the textures and then drag it on and we'll have it back. Now that we've done this, we can actually start with adding the clothing. So all we're going to do is we're going to select the clothing here. We're going to go to add component and then we're going to search up VRC Fury. And we should have quite a few options that show up. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you armature link. I'm going to show you blend shape link, and then I'm going to show you toggle. So these are the three components you'll need for adding any kind of accessory to your avatar. So to start off with armature link, we're going to start over here. So our first step will be grabbing the hips and dragging them onto here. So this will be the hips of your clothing. And then we're going to select where we want to add it to on our avatar. So in this example, we're going to select the hips because we want to add the clothing to the hips. Now that we've done this, this is pretty much all you have to do. If you're, say, adding glasses or a single prop to a single hand and not an entire outfit, you can change this over to uh, either parent root, parent constraint, um, and those will work too. But for this example, I'm just going to set it to auto. Now that we've done with the armature link, we can move on to the blend shape link. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow those steps. So it says name of skin mesh on avatar. So that would be this one right here, body. And so what we can do is we can click up here, control C and copy it. And then we just go back to the blend shape link and we hit control V to paste it into here. Now that that's there, we're going to tell it what links, what meshes we need to link. So in this case, it's going to be our femboy outfit mesh. We're going to drag that in there. And it's going to not update yet because what we actually have to do is we have to grab this object and move it to the Nova Beast. This will basically pair it with the Nova Beast and now it knows that it's combining with this. And now it says no valid mappings found. So an issue that I found with this accessory is that the breast slider 
for having larger chest um, is actually named Booba. But if you were to look at the Nova Beast and scroll down, this one, it's called Breasts. So to fix this issue, what we have to do is we go over to the outfit and then we open the advanced options. And then right here, additional linked blend shapes, name on base and then name on linked. So we're going to add plus. So the name on the base is going to be called Breasts. And then the name on the linked, which is this one right here, is called Booba with a capital B, like that. So now it, see, it updates down here that Breasts is Booba. And so that's how you know that this has been done successfully. Now the next step is the actual toggle. So for this first step of the toggle, uh, I'm going to make the path. I'm going to call it Clothing. And then I'm going to add a slash here. So this is basically saying that it's going to create a menu called clothing. And then inside of that menu called clothing, it's going to make and then whatever we name it here. So in this case, I'm going to call it fanboy clothing. And then that will be the name in the menu when we search it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit add action. We're going to go to object toggle. And then with this object toggle, we're just going to drag this down into here. So now this means that it will toggle the femboy clothing whenever we turn this on, which is good and what we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly click here, copy component, and then I'm going to com paste two more components as new. So if I click back here, click again, paste component as new, and now we'll have three. And then now what we need to do is we can do, uh, call this top off, and then this will be a toggle for turning the top off. And then this will be bottom off. And this will be a toggle for turning the bottoms off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to delete those two there. And we're actually going to hit add action. And we're going to make it a blend shape this time. And then now we need to find the name of the blend shape. So right here you can see we have hide top and hide bottom. So that's the name of our two blend shapes. So we just go back here. We go here and then we go hide top. Alternatively, if you don't want to write and remember it, you can actually click search and then type it in here and it'll show you what the mesh is named. So here, Femboy Outfit, we can see this is the right one and we grab hide top and then we're just going to copy the exact same thing here, except we're going to do it to bottom. So I'm going to name it hide bottom. And now you can see right there, hide bottom. And then the blend shape value will be 100 when we toggle this on. And then now that we've done everything here, one last step is if we go over to tools, VRC Fury and settings, there should be the enable VRC Fury in play mode. This will allow us to test it inside of Unity. And now after that, all we have to do is go to gesture manager and hit enter play mode. And then this will take a few seconds as VRC Fury actually builds our avatar. And now that we're here, we can go over to our expressions. And now you can see our menu name clothing that we made it. It's now there. And then we can actually toggle the clothing on as you can see. And then we can test if it actually moves with the avatar, which if I hit enter here, you can see that it does in fact move with the avatar perfectly. And then the last test that we have to give here is the other toggles we added. So this toggles the bottom off, this toggles the, the top off. And then lastly, a test is we can go back to the top, just to turn that on. And then if we go to the boob slider, the chest should move now. There seems to be some clipping issues with this. Maybe the boobs didn't get put right. But as you can see, it successfully moves with the blend shape now, which is a good plus. Anyways, if you found this video helpful at all, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. This has been Pinky, and I am gone. Hello, this is Pinky, and this is my thank you to my subscribers over on Patreon. Those being Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino One, Emerald Null, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, and the Maple Proto. And I would also like to give a big thank you to my YouTube members, those being AZ3, Hydro19, and Blue Nino One. What you guys do helps support me, and I appreciate it very much. Um, if you are interested in getting your own little goober on the desk, or you just want to support my content, feel free to go to the links in the bottom. Uh, otherwise, have a lovely day, and again, thank you very much.